Before we start, I want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Blox Victory. Here's how to refund Game Pass in Roblox. Number 6. You can't refund it if you don't like it. The rules of refunding are simple. You can't use a Game Pass, deem it unworthy, and try to refund it. One particular person narrated their situation which helps explain this rule perfectly. They spent a lot of money on a Game Pass allowing them to share music within the game. But regardless of which server they entered, they found that no one wanted to hear what they were playing and the person was constantly harassed. They hoped to return the Game Pass since it proved useless to them. But that's a breach of the rules, clearly. Just because you regret buying it doesn't give you the right to a refund, and even if you use the second and third method, you will not be given permission seeing as not liking it is not a valid reason. Number 5. Do not delete the Game Pass A lot of people have deleted their Game Pass thinking it would somehow get them a refund or cash in general. This is a misconception, and doing so will not benefit you in any way, shape, or form. If you delete the object, it's gone from your inventory, and even if method 1 would have worked, it will no longer do so. No matter what happens and whether or not you're able to get a refund, deleting the pass is a bad idea. If, in the future, Roblox expands their refund policy, you may be eligible for a refund in future updates. For this reason, I'd recommend holding on to whatever you don't want and haven't been able to get your money back for. Number 4. Purchase with Caution I think that the biggest way to save money in regards to game passes is to think before you buy. What are your needs and how likely are you to effectively use the product? If you're unable to think of possible answers to these questions, maybe you don't need the game pass. Just know that refunding is not possible in all circumstances and nobody wants their hard money earned wasted. Just like how you'd contemplate pros and cons in your daily life, try to do the same for purchases within the game. No one wants to hear this, but unfortunately, it's the best way to keep from spending huge sums recklessly. Number 3. Directly from Roblox's product page One of the only ways to legitimately refund a Game Pass is to use Roblox's direct product page. After you've bought the item you wish to return, you can right-click the image and select Refund. This option will come up every time you use this method, and upon clicking this, you'll get all the money you spent on the pass back. To make sure this works perfectly every time, make sure to be clicking the picture in the shop you bought the Game Pass from. Using this, you'll be able to get a refund from the gear you bought, whether it was special or if it was gear. Nothing's exempted! This takes only a few minutes to go through, so no time wasted. One thing to make sure of, however, is that if your computer crashes in the middle of the transaction, you may not be able to get the refund. Many Roblox users have complained about this bug. Number 2. Email the Roblox team If, for some reason, you're unable to refund using the method above, you honestly only have one method left. You're going to have to email the Roblox team and explain your case to them clearly. After they receive your message, it'll take them a few days to get back to you and review your predicament. If they deem your refund a necessity, they'll refund your Game Pass and voila! If the crashing issue I spoke about in the first method occurs, this would be the perfect opportunity to contact them, since this is something out of your control. Number 1. The Developers In some cases, the developers may be the ones issuing refunds when the game is unable to offer one directly. This is a rare occurrence, but can still happen depending on current Roblox bugs and issues. This way is a lot similar to the emailing route in that it takes a few days for you to actually hear back from them about whether or not you'll be getting a refund. This one is looked into by the developer you've chosen to contact and is quite an in-depth review of whatever you're claiming. It's not easy to get a Game Pass refund in Roblox, that's for sure. However, there are ways it can be done, but they are tedious and time-consuming sometimes. Roblox users have been asking the creators to change the rules for a long time now. And while nothing has been done thus far, everyone is hoping for the new updates to bring bigger and better features. But this brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen, because I'm sure you'll love them. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.